Hey friends, today Goblin Griff is going to be playing some Wii Party Board Game Island. He'll be playing on Standard Mode. He'll be playing against Chris, Maria, and Nick. Go ahead Griffin, get started when you're ready. Maze Days. It's a race to the middle of the maze. On the way, you'll have to deal with two dizzy spinners. Which way is up? Alright, Griffin, go ahead and give this game a try. Start! Got there, Griffin. The results are in. This round, the order of play will be Griffin, Chris, Maria, and then Nick. Griffin got first place and won a gold bonus die with numbers 1 to 6. Okay Griffin, go ahead and roll whenever you're ready, honey. Griffin got a 7. Spaces along the board game island path are usually positive. Chris got second and gets a silver bonus die with numbers 1, 2, and 3. Maria got third and won a bronze bonus die with numbers 1 and 2. Finally, Nick got fourth and just gets to roll a regular 1 through 6 die. Okay, we're off to round 2 already. Let's play for position. The game is quicker, chipper. Chip as many golf balls into the cup as you can before time runs out. Okay, folks. Griffin, you know what to do. For everyone out there, did you know that Start. Griffin's brother, Goblin George, is a champion golfer? We'll make sure to put a link in one of the cards and you can watch one of his golf videos. Alright, Griffin, you're doing pretty good yourself. Lift up and then swing the club when it reaches the line. Okay. Good job, honey. Griffin gets the golden die again. Let's see what you can do, honey. Do your best. Red space along the path is usually a bad thing. Looks like 
Chris has caught you, Griffin. That's okay. It's still very early in this game. Like he's gonna switch with the UFO. And he gets to switch and move Griffin back a little bit. <clears throat> That's alright, honey. It's still very early. And he only gets to go two, two spaces in front of you. Okay, Maria, let's see what you could do. Everybody's very close to each other. The game is Pop Gun Posse. Shoot your can to rack up points. Each shot is worth one point, but you'll lose two points if it hits the ground. Our recommendation for this game is to shoot your can as straight as possible so it goes directly up in the air rather than veering off in an angle. Okay, Griffin, whenever you're ready, get started and show them what we mean. Looks like you got third, Griffin. Ooh, perfect. Double six. Whenever you roll doubles, you get a roll of extra bonus. Oh, that's 17. That's almost the highest you could get on one roll. Alright, it's challenge time. He needs to roll a 4, 5, or 6. Oh, unfortunately, he does not roll a full 4, 5, or 6 and has to go back one space. Okay, Maria, can we get to the challenge? I think we're going to be a little short. what it is. Play for position. The game is Risky Railroad. When this railroad splits into three tracks, only two will do. One is always a dead end. Good luck. There's no real, no real strategy here. You just guess left, right, or go straight. Again, this game has no strategy. It's just a, it's just random. There will be games like that. you have to roll one die as a roll off. Go ahead, Griffin. That's pretty tough.
four or six is the ideal number to roll. That's three. I think that's a one versus three mini game. Yes, it's a one versus three mini game. If Maria wins, she's gonna advance ten spaces. It's, it's very beneficial if she's able to win. Pose aerobics. It's time for some pose aerobics. In each round, the team's goal is to imitate the solo player's pose. All right, Griffin, go ahead and get started. Okay, you remember that? Okay. Start. Looks like you were able to defeat her. So she doesn't get a go ahead 10 spaces. Good job, Griffin. Well, you caught him. Good job, honey. We're off to round five. Still anybody's game. The game is called Crybabies. Calm down your crybaby by rocking it in rhythm with a beating heart. That'll bring a smile to its face. Rock the Wii Remote in rhythm with a beating heart. Okay, Griffin, you know what to do. Start! Like you're the first one to stop the crying baby. Great job, honey. Finish. Okay, Griffin rolled a pair of three, so he gets a bonus die. If you roll a Paradactyl, you'll move ahead, but if you roll a Tyrannosaurus, you'll move back. Okay, you want to roll a blue Pterodactyl, Griffin. Try your best, honey. There you go. The route is covered in minus four spaces. Once three players have taken their turns, the route will return to normal. Okay, here's one player. Uh-oh. 
Round 6 The game is Tropical Punch. Knock the other players into the sea with your punching contraption. At least the water looks warm. warm. Alright, well remember, one player is still going to go minus 4, so you might want to just try to get 2nd place. Start! Run off the thing. Oh, oh, good job, Griffin. That's that's some good strategy. You do not want to hit one of those minus four blocks. We didn't get a chance to mention it, but our strategy in Tropical Punch is to try to stay in the middle as best as you can. All right, Griffin, go ahead, hit A. Okay, the board is back to normal. Good strategy, Griffin. Alright, let's see what you can get. That's okay. You never know how to close it. It's a one versus one mini game. With the win, Chris will move ahead 7 spaces, and the loser will move back 7 spaces. However, Chris if Chris loses, everyone will stay where they are. Chris is going to choose a battle. He's probably going to choose Griffin. Yes. The game is called Commuter Count. Count up all the passengers riding on the train as it rushes by. Alright, Griffin, do the best you can, honey. Sometimes the computer's really good at this. Round 7. The game is cold, called Goal Getters. It's time for some soccer practice. Time your shots and score as many goals as you can in 5 attempts. Okay, when the soccer ball comes, just swing the remote down and kick it just in time. Start. Right when you see the ball's shadow. Griffin was able to kick his way to victory. That's a nice roll. Okay, you gotta choose either left or right to see if you can keep going along the path. That's unfortunate.
another one versus one mini game. If Nick wins, he gets to go seven spaces. If he loses, if he loses, we all stay where we're at. All right, Chris, looks like you're in the lead. Got a roll up. Three, four, five, or six to avoid the volcano. Wants the pterodactyl. And she gets it. Looks like Griffin has some catching up to you. All you could do is do your best. Round 8. The game is called Puzzle Pickup. Complete as many two piece puzzles as you can before time is up. The ones with a me face are worth two points. Alright, do the best you can, honey. Our strategy, obviously, is to always go for the me faces when you see them. Alright. Start! Looks like you were able to do it, Griffin. Good job, honey. You're still in this game. Alright, you gotta roll at least a 3, 4, or 5. Boy, Griffin's getting a little unlucky in this game. He goes into the volcano. from the top will choose the mini game. Don't give up. Maria gets to choose the mini game. It looks like she's gonna choose Smile Snap. In Smile Snap, you snap a photo of as many smiles as you can. You only get one shot at it though, so wait for the right moment. Alright Griffin, go ahead. Whenever you're ready, honey. We try to we recommend you take a photo when you see at least five to six faces. Beautiful picture. Thank you. 
is just getting a lot of bad luck today. First she did the UFO. Now she got a world of bad luck. Okay, round 10. Trip and you have a lot of catching up to do. Just do your best, honey. The game is Jumbo Jump. Why take turns when you can ski all the... All... Well, sorry, let's start over. Why take turns when you can all ski jump at the same time? The closer to the end you launch, the longer you'll fly. Alright, Griffin, do your best, honey. Start! Goblin Griff is not the only player to receive some bad luck in this game. All right, Chris, looks like it's your yours to win. We're off to round eleven. The game is called Feathered Frenzy. Feathered Frenzy. Grab the feathers to score points. Pinks are worth one. Golds are worth three. And Leaves are minus three. Our tip is to be pretty precise and try to go for the gold feather when you can. Dash time. It's time for a horse race. Giddy up to the finish line, but be careful not to use up your horse's energy too soon. Start! Our 
tip for this game is just to be pretty leisurely up until the last quarter and then just start shaking as fast as you can. Don't waste up your horse's energy too early. Okay. Nick gets to come out of the volcano. Okay, we're off to round 13 now. Space Brawl. It's a good old-fashioned Space Brawl. Fly into your opponents or throw space junk at them to rack up points. Alright Griffin, do the best you can. There's no real strategy in this game. Just do your best. You get the golden bonus die. You still need quite a big number. You need a 10 to get there. Try your best, honey. Oh my goodness, look at that. Griffin with doubles, sixes. He made it there. I'm proud of you for sticking in. The final challenge. You have to roll a six or higher to open the gate to get to the treasure. Your best, honey. Oh my goodness, it was one bounce away. That's okay, next time if you win the minigame, you could get a bonus die. Alright, Chris, your turn. You're eight spots away. Oh, you're getting there too. launch. Of course, this game is completely random. The only thing you need to win this minigame is luck. Pick one of the four fireworks and hope for the best. Let me just say, pick your favorite color. Griffin's favorite color is green. Start! Still a 
little unlucky, Griffin. You only get a little Finish. Three. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Alright, Nick, you just need to roll a six. You get the silver bonus dice to help you with your die. Oh my goodness, he rolls a four. Looks like you still have a chance, Griffin. Never give up. Always try your best. Alright, Griffin, do what you can. Oh my goodness, you rolled a five. That's unfortunate. What's going on with these rolls? Okay, Chris has a chance too. He could roll a six. He just gets one die, but you never know what could happen in board game. Looks like we're going to go off to round 15. Okay, Maria. Maria has chosen shifty gifts. The presents are piling up. Don't let them topple over. Alright, our tip for this game is to stay in the middle as still as possible. Shifting only when absolutely Sorry. necessary. Way to stay still, Griffin. Great job, honey. Alright, you need a six. You get two. One through six dice. Okay, Griffin, whatever you're ready. And you get a nine. Look at that. Great job, Griffin. Despite all the adversity you faced, you stuck in there and were able to win. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this edition of We Party Board Game Island. We hope you enjoyed our commentary and found our tips helpful. Please remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, you were you were in trouble when you hit the volcano, but you did great, honey. Good job.